an empties video for you. I have been collecting stuff. I can't believe how much stuff I have in this bag. I've got it just in a um, just a big old Walmart bag, and it's just getting heavier and heavier, hanging on my door. So it's time to it's time to do a giveaway and get rid of it all. So let me move some stuff out of the way so I have some room. Let's get started. This is Kenra Hairspray. I get it at the salon. This has been on special. It's been $17 for this uh, 16 ounce um, can and I've been buying one every time I go if there's any left. And uh, I love it. I love Kenra Hairspray. I love the smell. I love the consistency. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Simply Basic Moonlight Mist. You can't get it anymore. It's one of my favorite scents. I would definitely rebuy it if if you could still get it, but you can't. Um, Fresh Foaming Cleanser from Neutrogena. Love this stuff. We'll purchase it over and over and over. Um, it takes my makeup off, washes my face in one step. I don't have to use wipes and then wash my face. I can use this. I have washcloths that I save just for washing my face and getting the makeup off, and um, that stuff does the trick. I don't have to use a bunch of stuff. I'm just pulling things out of here randomly, so it's not in any kind of order. Um, this is this has been around for a while, but uh, I got it used up. This is the Body Collagy Toasted Sugar. Um, I have these all over the house. I will purchase them again and again. I love the scent. I love that cream. It soaks in good. It doesn't leave you greasy. And it is just smells great. Finished off a bottle of leaves. I use that. I've got bad knees. And um, this does help keep my knees moving. A tube of Crest toothpaste. Is that upside down to you guys? Regular paste. My chosen toothpaste. That's what I use all the time. Um, this Cordade cream, it just went old. So, you know, it's for itching and stuff like that. And I never find it to really work. So, that's probably why it, it's half full. Um, a bottle of Allergy Relief Benadryl. I use this at night to help me sleep and to help with the itching from the fibromyalgia. Sometimes the itching can drive you crazy. Um, vitamin bottles. Let's see what I've got here. Okay. B-Complex. B-Complex. Milk thistle for your liver. When you take as many medications as I do, I make sure to take that for my liver. Vitamin D, at one point I was low in vitamin D, and I started taking it regularly, and I've got my vitamin D level up to normal. More Stress B Complex, I swear by that stuff. Um, a pair of eye, eyelash curlers from the dollar store. I love these little dollar store curlers. I went and got a new one. Uh, let's see. BO5 Silky Experience Rich Lather was fine. I probably will not buy it again, but it wasn't because it's not a bad, I mean that it's a bad shampoo. It's just that I use the Pert um, for dandruff, scaly scalp. Um, Revlon Color Stay. This I finally finished off. I used it in conjunction with my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, for quite a while. And this was in the color Buff, 150 Buff Chamois. And um, yeah, I would buy that again to mix. I will. I would mix it only with Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I would use it. L'Oreal Paris. This is the color 846 Plume. And it's the blush, and I've finished it right down. I love this. I've got um, another one. 
Um, I buy it on eBay. It's the Magic Smooth Souffle, and I don't even think you can get it now except on eBay. But I do keep some. I like this color, so I do keep some. Vision Formula 50. I have the precursor to macular degeneration, and the eye doctor wants me always taking the, the um, vitamins for your eyes, which is usually Occuvite. Occupy, yeah, Occupite. But you can buy just the Equate brand. It's the same thing. You don't have to buy the expensive one. What else have I got in here? Uh, I've got some mascaras. I'll put these all together and show them to you all at once. Some more makeup. This one is empty. This is what I use in my house. It's the Febreze um, Noticeables. I keep those plugged in around my house, and my favorite scent is this one in, oh, what's it called? It's vanilla, not vanilla, lavender and moonlight. Lavender and moonlight. And each, there's two separate ones. That's my favorite scent in my house. I like it in my bathroom because it has a perfumey smell, perfumey smell rather than a, um, like a fruit smell or something. It's more like perfume. Downy, wrinkle away. Love this stuff. Love to keep it around. If you just have a few wrinkles in a shirt, you don't have to iron it. Um, frizzies, I didn't finish this. This was for when my hair was longer and sometimes it would get a little frizzy. Don't need it now. Redkins, heat styling, thermospray, starch. Used it when my hair was long, really held the curl. Um, if I had long hair, I would buy it again. This got old, but I love the smell. You can't really smell so much now. Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect. And this one had only an SPF of 20, though. But it, it was really pretty and had a nice smell to it, but it, it got old. It was time to toss it. If I dig into the bottom of my barrel here. This is my Enrogen Time Release Action Eye Cream. And it was, um, it's a nice little eye cream I buy it at the dollar store. It's a thinner eye cream. An e.l.f. primer, eyelid primer. Um, the only bad thing about these e.l.f. primers is that they go dry awfully fast. But, yes, I would buy it again. Got two mascaras here. Great Lash Mascara doesn't do a thing for my eyelashes, not one thing. I don't know why I bought it again. I knew it wouldn't. Um, this one is Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline. This really didn't do a lot for my eyelashes either. It thickened them a little bit. Uh, the brush wasn't so bad, but, um, you know, I, I wouldn't buy it again. I found the L'Oreal telescopic now and I I wouldn't use anything else. This was a little sample size of Leo Ellie BB cream and yes I would buy that again. It is a very nice BB cream, very much a foundation, um, not just a BB cream. Hard candy glow all the way. Do not like it at all. It just um it looks fake on your face. I don't I don't like the look. This was in a brush from something, but it feels like you're brushing your face with a broom. So, I don't know where I bought it at, but I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't buy it again. This was a Mary Kay makeup finishing spray. It was very nice. Really liked this. It was $18 for this size, though. And you can buy the L'Oreal one I just showed you for... A whole lot less than that. I don't remember how much. This is just the trial size that I bought because I wanted to see if I liked it. So I will buy the full size next time. But yes, this is a very good makeup spray, makeup setting spray. And I would buy it again if it weren't so expensive. Uh, another makeup brush that is no good. Some, let's see. 
I'm running out of room here, girls. An e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I didn't use all of it up, but it kind of dried up on me. I like the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is a Maybelline New York um, in 50H500 Mocha Motion. It's a little quad. And these are very rough. They're not creamy or buttery at all. And, um, you know, just, no, I wouldn't buy that again. It's a tin. If my hair was long and all again, yes, I would buy it. But I don't need it now. Another little Benadryl bottle that I buy. Uh, this one was the Illegal Length Mascara. That's the brush on that one. The brush is not a bad brush. Didn't care for the formula at all. It was too dry for my eyelashes. So no, I wouldn't buy that one again. And the last thing is the Renewal, Rite Aid Renewal Advanced Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Day Cream. It's supposed to be the comparable one to the Neutrogena one. It didn't do a thing for my face. It moisturized it. Um, it was okay to wear under makeup. I used it all up. Um, no, I would not buy it again. If I, if I needed to find something that I knew would go underneath makeup without, um, you know, that wouldn't melt my makeup off and things like that, I would, I would buy that because I know it does. But um, I'm trying right now the, new, the other Neutrogena products and stuff like that. So that's everything. I can throw all this stuff away now. And um, I don't know if that was interesting to anybody, but... You guys said keep doing empties videos, so I did it. So, anyway, um, I'll give you a video of uh, Maggie now. Bubba's out with his daddy. So, let's see if I can get up here and get... Where'd she go? Oh, she's underneath the blanket. Hey, sis. You in there? Hi! Can you say hi to everybody? Hi, baby. As hot as it is, and she's underneath the blankets. That's the normal Maggie. Can you say hi to everybody? Huh? Can you say hi? Come on. Be a big girl and say hi for Mom. I woke her up, you can tell. Come on. Up you come. Up you come. Oh, you're not going to? Are you going to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come on, up here. Come here, up here. Oh, she's just going to do that. She says, I'll do that. That's all. She's been a good girl. She likes to stay under the blankies, even if it's hot. She's underneath a blanket someplace. They've been real good this summer. You guys haven't got to see them much. Running around, playing in the yard, and having fun has been kind of a no-go. It's been so hot. Um, this fall we'll get some more video of them outside though, but right now it's just too darn hot to be out there. I have to go to town today in a little bit and I'm dreading it. It's smoky and hot from all the wildfires up in Washington and um, pray for the firefighters guys. We've lost, I forget how many now, five I think. Five men have been killed um, fighting the fires, so pray for them all. And um, I will check you guys out later. Bye-bye, everybody.